Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. And now it is time for some arts. You know we love to appreciate arts on Thursdays. Today isn't any different because we'll be joined with a beautiful arts peacemaker, right? So his name is actually Peacemaker, Efergene Alexander. He is a prolific impressionist painter who has over time explored the oil, acrylic, and other media expressions. Good morning, sir. And welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. Good morning. Thank you very much. Okay, so now I see amazing pieces here. And I think the first thing I'm noticing is the fact that they actually um, come from northern Nigeria. Oh, yes. So that, those are these ones. So is that, like, is that what you do strictly? Not, not only north, secondly, because you see a southern and they, okay. they walk behind the oh, south and then okay. the man with beads there. It's the okay. south. Okay. Okay. It's from I mean, Niger Delta. Okay, so definitely there is a cultural thing to your art. So now tell yes. me, what is that and why do you decide to go that way? Well, um, art, art itself um, is uh, cultural. It's a, it's a global culture that is um, known to all, every tribe, I mean, races. So uh, being an African artist, um, a Nigerian artist, uh, growing up in this society with a culture, with an African culture, and um, growing up uh, to know art and then how to express self using drawings and uh, paintings illustrations and so um, it um, helps me to I mean, connect with my society though I was trained in school with the Western art okay so but later on as um, over time I have to grow into my society that how do I communicate with my society not to the Western world now, because this is my society. So that's why in the works you see on display, see a house man, see a flutist, music, you know, we love music. Yeah. Uh, yeah, traditional music. Then we see South Anand as well, Robo, Ninja Delta. Then uh, from this uh, piece you see a uh, uh, title across the Sahara, you know, we are in, a, we are in a West Africa where we have this uh, Sahara, so there are also a tribe there, Tuaregs lives there. So it's like my art reflects the society, an African society, especially in Nigeria, north, south, west, and east. Mm. Okay, so I've actually um, been opportunity to be around people. We've had different um, discussions about arts. Now, yeah. from your personal point of view, what do you think? Do you think art is a vocation that can be learned if you don't have the initial interest in it because i've actually met, met people and they're like they don't understand like they don't just get okay fine paint okay picture but like why why can't you just take a picture why is that not okay <laughs> so what do you think do you think okay fine you need to have a part of you that is just drawn to the arts or you think it's something that can be learned from scratch well um there is something i want you to know and uh, everyone the viewers yes all over number one everyone is an artist okay because right from the creation of man. So mm. let us make man in our own, in a make. Mm -hmm. So whatever you make in life makes oh. you an artist. You make clothing, make food, make these houses, anything you make makes you, I mean, I mean, makes you an artist. Like, yeah, you make up anything, you make books, oh. you write poems, mm. you make music, mm. you make sports, mm. anything that has to do with making make makes you an artist. That's why you see children, mm. the first thing they learn when they get hold of a pen, your wall. <laughs> you should know that that wall, if it's white or whatever, or you ever need to see the drawing. So yes. it means that there is, an, there is a spirit of art, and element of art. And is that artistic, mm. um, um, what I say, um, um, a gift in mm. that child? So everybody, as we grow older, mm -hmm. Parental influence, I want to become an engineer, I mm. want to become bees, then we dive our boat. Yeah, As you sit down here, I believe you can draw. Mm. See, <laughs> I, 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 that maybe when you did that, I mean, I mean, biology or so, yeah. I think you have, at a point in your life, mm -hmm. drawn something. Something, really yeah. true. That, that makes a lot of sense. All you need to do is just cultivate that primary yeah, 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 and, yeah, I'm gonna practice. Okay, great. So now tell me about this beautiful artwork. What inspired it? Okay, um, mm. this artwork is uh, titled um, Kakaki, you know. Kakaki, yes. Yeah, you know, in the yes. north, yes. you know, music mm. and 
instrument and <coughs> sorry we see it and very very lively mm. in that society your know, music and all these things they do with live and the instruments they play so um, i got fascinated so mm. i thought i should just express mm -hmm. express it um, in my own language which is um, the visual art okay. so actually is the this is how i paint back back in the days then mm -hmm. i'm an impressionistic painter in the oil acrylic but which later which later over time through research transform into also what you see so what you see here is mm -hmm work being done mm. using brush and paint. The using brush other works and we have here are works done only in fabric. It means now scissors, cloth, and mm. glue. So now that is the essence of this exhibition that, um, that, I, mm. that, is, that, that, is, that is currently on now. Okay. Fabric, collage, collage paint. So it's like painting. evolvement. Oh, from the oil, oil acrylic, and brush. brush. So now mm. I, as I speak now, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist that uh, paints using fabric. Fabric. So like that's, scissors that's like, and glue. That's something like this. Now. Yeah. So tell me about what this you one. see here mm. is uh, 2004. I actually mm. started this in uh, 2004 okay. here in uh, Lagos, mm. why I wanted to do something different. Because I've been a painter all my life, but okay. I need something different. I don't want to be the best. I just want to be unique, unique. different. That when you see my work, you say, this is Peacemaker. So mm -hmm. while the, the quest for search mm -hmm. for, a, I mean, a uniqueness, mm -hmm. I got this from the, that's, that's, that's the primary school I taught. So where I had to play with the kids with, I mean, a fabric and glue. Mm -hmm. It was then I got it. That, that was around the... Uh, 1998. Okay, so 90, this was 000. not even so learned from somewhere. In 2000, somebody. also it was just from playing with kids playing with in kids. my class. Wow. That is around this because here don't mm. let me mention the school mm -hmm. because of adverts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now in 2004, I now because I thought I I, I thought within myself I I'm done with the mm. oil and the paint medium. Mm -hmm. Anything paint medium. Let me do something different. Something so different. from what you see here mm. is fabric. So this I call early fabric collages. It means my first set of research, Love, yeah. 2004, mm -hmm. early fabric collages. It means that you're painting using only fabric. But here, you, you, you can still see paint. Yes, you can see other yeah, things. Yeah, mixed media. Yes. Later on, as it uh, progressed, mm -hmm. um, at the masters in the fine arts, I have to now progress into 75% um, fabric. Then the other mixed media in okay, paint. Okay, so now which is which one is seventy five percent fabric? What is what's that one? And about? like that one over there, the the I mean, a chief tense. The, this one. That robot chief. Okay. Uh, that man with the beads. That that. Um, that okay, the one over there. Yes, the that figure fab with beads. That's fabric. Yeah. So everything oh, wow. from the head, mm. everything about that uh, figure is mm. fabric. Okay. The background is is a uh, acrylic. Okay. So it's wonders. Uh, mm. It's you will you will wonder mm. how 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 possible it is yes. to render painting using only cloth, oh. scissors, and glue. So that that figure mm. there mm -hmm. is fabric, no paint. Wow. It's only the background. That so is acrylic. It means the beads and uh, the small top, the white mm -hmm. uh, top, and the and the and the, and the purple and rope, everything, yeah, is fabric everything is fabric from fabric. the head down. So, wow. but from a distance, mm. it, it looks, looks it, it looks like as if paint. it was done with brush with and paint. Brush so and paint so that's how it starts evolving. The one right beside, beside it is hundred yes. percent fabric. What's the name of this one? That one is a Goje player, wow. and and an outside boy playing a, a local uh, guitar, Goje wow. player. So okay. that one is hundred percent. So it evolved at the, the masters in uh, in art uh, level. It evolved up to okay. these points you have. That uh, Goje player, mm. you notice everything is fabric, but mm. you can still see Ankara, Ankara all this pattern the uh, yes. clothing. Okay. But this mm -hmm. is just plain fabrics. No Ankara. No lace, wow. nothing. So it means that wow. from afar off, looking yeah. at this wall, it looks wow. as if That's it beautiful. was done using the brush 
and mm. the oil. So mm. this is this is the first time I'm actually satisfied with what I'm doing. What you see here, mm -hmm. I've never found satisfaction. I look like every other artist. Aww. But now, well, now the uniqueness of um, rendering mm. artworks, mm -hmm. painting using Fabric. scissors, fabric and glue. glue on surface that's what makes me different beautiful what of this one tell me about this one this one mm. is the advanced um, stage if you look at it there is um it is uh, i mean a titled across the sahara 2. this is across sahara 1. Okay. this one is across sahara 2. two. Mm -hmm. it means that the second time i will be doing a work that has to do with sahara the desert because over there too, people also we have we have people that mm -hmm. I mean stays there and they thrive there. Two are eggs. They live there. They they they, they cannot live anywhere. So mm -hmm. I the inspiration came uh, one time I traveled across Sahara. Okay. Yeah, so I, Is that that looks like three so, D in some form? Is that yeah, also says, fabric? The, the, I mean the three D. Um, mm. It means that um, you see that uh, head, mm. the head, the, the figure head there. Is a Tuareg man. Okay. That is a sculptural piece I got from Uniben. I I was I walked through the back. Where is of, yes, I saw <laughs> it uh, exhumed. In the, it it was in the ground. It was buried. Mm. It was an artwork, maybe maybe made by an uh, undergraduate and left and left. It. So it was in the sand. As, and they were. I mean, it, it was trashed. In fact, trashed mm. where. And I saw it. At that point, I was already in my PhD uh, research class. Mm -hmm. So and I said, okay, how possible it is in my research question mm -hmm. to render fabric collage painting on 3D, on 3D. objects? Wow. So and now it means it has now moved from 2D flat surface to, to 3D. 3D flat. Awesome. But this one is still like a, yes. um, a relief sculpture, mm -hmm. like almost in the round. So what you see there? Everything you see on that work, mm. on this work, both the uh, figure and the, the, the background and the camera is fabric. So no fabric. paint, no, no paint, brush, no, brush, no coloring, wow. no dyeing, no staining, no bleaching. So everything is 100% sourced fabric. Wow, that is amazing and really impressive. Well done, sir. Thank You're you definitely everyone. doing really, really Thank well. So and Thank I actually so can't wait to see more of your art pieces. Ah, so Thank much. you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much.